Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. All right, so this video we're gonna talk about the uh, choke plates and the reduction tube. So that's basically right above the grate. We just did the grate assembly. So right above that we have the reduction tube and the choke plate. And the purpose of the choke plate is it's a quarter inch stainless steel plate. And what it does, it's, it's below the hearth. So the fuel, it, it restricts the amount of fuel that's gonna fall down into the reduction tube, which determines how much gas is being created. So the plate is very uh, available in different size diameter holes. The, the outside is a fixed diameter. The inside can change. So they'll basically goes from a, a three inches, three and a half, four inch, and four and a half hole here. Basically the smaller the hole for a smaller, running a smaller engine, smaller generator, the larger hole for running a, a larger engine. Now, this is one of the areas where we've made some improvements. The original choke plate in the book is this, this size here. Um, the outside diameter is fine for putting in um, uh, where the air jacket uh, go, liner goes, but as soon as you start to add the hearth liner and the diverters, uh, you change that diameter that this plate is no longer removable. So one of the whole benefits of this design is that you, it has removable choke plates so that you can configure it and put in a different size choke plate depending on what size engine that you're running. So the original size of this um, make, de de completely def uh, defeats that purpose. So uh, you can't use the original size choke plate. So what we did is we basically took this original choke plate and we broke it into two, two pieces. So we made an outer ring and an inner ring. So this outer ring can now sit in there and then this inner ring becomes the choke plate that we can weld onto the reduction tube. Now the reduction tube is also stainless steel, schedule 40, quarter inch uh, uh, thickness. And so you have two options here. You can take whatever size choke plate that you want and weld that to a dedicated reduction tube. Um, we got very little clearance on the outside here, so we have to do the welding on the inside. So you can see here, we basically put some skip welds on the inside to, hold, to secure the uh, reduction tube to the choke plate. And then by doing that, it allows us to still remove the choke plate even when we have the hearth liner and the diverters in place. So to kind of give you a visual of what that looks like here, let me bring this other uh, piece over and show you. So if down in here is where the uh, grate assembly is, this is the choke mantle. And then this is the choke ring. The choke ring would be placed and welded in there before you put the choke mantle in. So rather than use the original uh, plate, we're gonna use our adapter ring and we can put that in there. And then once that adapter ring is in there, we can take our enhanced choke plates now, still using the original sizes from three inches up to four and a half inches. And now we can slide that down in there. And we can still remove it. So even when we have our hearth liner and our deliverers in, uh, we can still reach in and pull this out and change it. So you can see here, I've got a choke plate. Uh, I think it's three and a half inch uh, diameter. Here, I've got one maxed out at four and a half inches. So I can, I can put in a complete new assembly to change it out. Um, but that's also very expensive. This, this piece of metal, this six inch uh, reduction tube is probably the most expensive piece of metal in the whole build. It uh, last price uh, costs more than $10 an inch. So it's very expensive to make one of these for each size. Uh, what I would recommend that you do is if you wanna use multiple choke plates, uh, weld the largest one on to the reduction tube and then place that in. Then if you wanna use uh, other choke plates that are smaller, just take the choke plate, the smaller choke plate, and then you can just add that on top. And you don't have to put that whole assembly in. So just put another choke plate on top that's got the diameter that you want. That way you can easily switch between a three inch choke plate and a four and a half inch. So I could run my little three kilowatt generator, pull it out and run my 25 kilowatt generator. So uh, it makes it very easy to, uh, to do that. Uh, straight, pretty straightforward assembly. 
Alrighty? All right, thanks. Moving on to the next assembly.